Hi, it's Christina with the Sisyphean Journal, and we're looking at an historic case from Chicago. On October 15th of 1926, 23-year-old homemaker Ethel Horner died at Chicago's Jackson Park Hospital from an abortion performed earlier that day. Teresa Feltz, a mother of five, admitted that she had taken Ethel to the Chicago office of 55-year-old Dr. Albert Peacock, who was arrested the day after Ethel's death. On November 15th of 1926, he was indicted for felony murder. Peacock told the police, I'm too old to go through with a trial when they arrested him. He admitted to the abortion, but said that it had been medically necessary. Uh, he was kept under close watch after making remarks indicating that he might kill himself. I haven't been able to determine the outcome of the case. Now, one of the things that this really highlights is that even when abortion was illegal, the doctors would not be prosecuted if they were making a good faith effort to protect the woman from a medical problem that would threaten her life. Um, now, granted, if Dr. Peacock really did think that an abortion was necessary to save Ethel's life, he could have performed it openly in a hospital. He wouldn't have had to hide it. He could have, you know, contacted the coroner and said, look, this woman had heart problems or whatever. I was performing an abortion and she died and move on with it. Um, I would really love if people liked, shared, and subscribed so I could go to Chicago, read the records, and find out exactly why Dr. Peacock evidently wasn't actually prosecuted for this. Was this a good faith life of the mother abortion? It would have been legal even in 1926.